You say your friend is sick? Yes. Yes, yes. And you say you have cough? Yes. Ah, cough for me. Yes, yes. I check the Google. I am sorry. You need colonoscopy. Oh no. I check your friend. Yes. Oh no. I'm sorry. Your friend is dead. <laughs> All right, so we have a lot of fun here, but let's get real. Dr. Google is never a good way to figure out why you're not feeling good. And even worse, Dr. Google's never a good idea to figure out what's wrong with your vehicle. So today at DG's Protech, we're gonna talk all about how to be careful when you're trying to be an enthusiast and diagnose your vehicle by yourself. All right guys, so Dustin here with you from DG's Protech and Listwool. Today we're talking all about how to be careful and get the information you need to get your vehicle fixed. You know, we get a lot of people that bring vehicles in and it's really great that we get lots of customers and they all want to be a part of the magic that happens at DDDs. And I, I love it, guys. I'm passionate. I remember what it was like to be dreaming of a mechanic and there's nothing wrong with that. Enthusiasts are a great customer to have. In this world, in this digital age we have, there is so much free information out there. There, there are, You can post anything up. Look at what we're doing right now. We're posting stuff up right now. It's important to understand that with, with YouTube and Facebook and Google, for instance, you can get yourself a lot of good information, what may or may not be wrong with your truck, trying to figure out what that weird problem is, what that noise, that rattle, that lack of power, that, what that could be. The problem you have to be is you have to make sure you're careful in getting the quality information that's out there. And if you can't, make sure you come and see us for a quality diagnostic or do that little bit of background information and it might help us. You know, here at DG's ProTech, we work on a, pro uh, a product of experience and learning that there's three steps to fixing a vehicle, okay? There's the complaint, the cause, and the correction. The complaint is all about the description. You, the customer, bring us and you say, you know, I have this vehicle, it does this odd thing, it's intermittent, it's only when the vehicle is this warm or when I push it this hard or I'm towing the trailer, and all of that is important information instead of just saying, you know, my car has this noise. Us as technicians may need to take you for road tests and things like that to get you that information you need or to get the information we need to fix your vehicle accurately the first time. So getting good descriptions will lead us to a good complaint and a good complaint will lead us to the next step, which is the cause. So then we get to the cause. And the cause is important because this is where all the meat and potatoes of diagnostic happen, okay? So we get into our diagnostic, we're using the information, what we know, we've, we've found, or we've been able to duplicate the problem you have, and now we're working through why. And we might use um, some interactive diagnostic tools, we might do some things like you know, fuel pressure testing for a very basic instance, and then look at what we get for readings during the problem the customer is having. This is what takes most of the time and we try and keep it simple by menu pricing that in our shop And if we need more time we stop and ask the customer for more time It's important to keep an informed customer involved in the repair at every step of the way Third step is the correction. So now we've done our diagnostic and we figured out what's wrong And we know what it's going to take to correct it. We quote it. We talk to the customer now Sometimes there's multiple quotes in here. This will fix it However, we've noticed that this other part right beside it is very common. Would you like a quote for that as well? And we want to make sure, again, that informed customer gets involved in that diagnostic procedure. Remember I talked, there are two types of customers out there. There is the non-involved customer. That's the guy that jumped in his car, he goes to work, he gets in his car, he drives home. If he has a flat tire, he needs an oil change. He doesn't want to deal with that. He's got better things to do. He brings that in to us at our shop and we definitely take care of that for him. And then the other type of customer, which is much more common in the diesel world, and that's the customer that's fairly involved. He's an enthusiast, he's doing his own oil changes, he's fixing his own tires, he's doing the basics he can. And we definitely want to make sure that that customer gets the same amount of attention and, and understands what his concern is so we can go through those three C's and get him taken care of. So let me give you a quick analogy. You've got a bellyache. You're not sure why you have a bellyache, you've had it for a little while. You're gonna to go to your doctor. You're not gonna to say to your doctor, you know what, I went on Google, I got a belly ache, I took some aspirin, it sort of got better, it's sort of different, and Google told me I have stomach cancer. You need to check for stomach cancer. You don't do that with your doctor. You go, I got a belly ache, and it's once in a while, and the customer will say, hey, you know what, it's two days after Halloween. Did you eat your whole kid's bowl of candy? And you go, you know I did. That's why you have a belly ache. Here's some antacid tablets and you're good to go. 
Or they might go in and say, you know, we did an MRI or CT. I'm not a doctor, I don't know what they do. But they do stuff that's important, that diagnostic stuff, okay? And they're gonna say, you don't have stomach cancer, you have, uh, I don't know, an ulcer, something small that can be treated and fixed and, and you'll be better and life is good. And that's what we're trying to do here. These are our patients and, and you are our customer. You're like the parent or guardian of this patient, trying to make sure that the right repair gets done the first time so that this patient isn't sick anymore. I know that's a stretch of an analogy, but really guys, it's not. It's what we do every day. What's important to know is that a qualified shop with experience and tools and trained guys, we don't want you to be this guy. We want you to use this guy because it took time, energy, effort, learning, training, constantly ongoing to get to a point where I can tell you what's wrong with this guy, which is all important stuff. You know, to wrap this up, it's important. Go ahead, Google it, get that information, use it. You know, reach out to us, we'll help you as best we can. And then when it comes a time that that's just, you're tripping over problems, you've been to a couple mechanics, they're great mechanics, you know, they found out that this wasn't the problem, this wasn't the problem, they're not quite sure, that's when you're gonna call us. Or better yet, call us first. We'll get you in here, we'll get your diagnostic done, we'll get you some good information, you'll leave happy, satisfied, and an informed customer is that happy customer. Make sure you're reaching out to us on all of our social platforms, our Instagram, our YouTube stuff, like you guys are watching right now, has taken off. We're getting information and questions and emails from all over North America, which is great, we love it. We do our best to get back to you as quick as we can. Make sure you're going on our Facebook stuff, liking our stuff. Tell your friends, they gotta come see, see these guys at DJ Project. They know what we're doing. We give that extra customer service. Make sure you come and see us here at 490 Maitland Ave in Listowel. 418-2886 in the air code 519. All right, so make sure you guys are coming to see us. I'm Dustin, we have a great team here at DG's, but I gotta get going on to my next patient. Ooh, snappy gloves. <laughs>